The WNBA has some incredibly talented rosters this year, notably with the addition of Candace Parker to the Aces and Brianna Stewart joining the New York Liberty. As the first week of games unfolds, it becomes increasingly evident that the era of super teams has begun for the WNBA. That being said, Jordan, what are your thoughts on super teams? I have so many thoughts. <laughs> I'm sure you do. <laughs> so many thoughts. Because this has been such a hot topic going into the season. The free agency season over, you know, over the offseason was massive. And you saw all of these stars want to play together, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So the W entering their super team era, I think is great for the league. Brianna Stewart, when she went to New York, she said she wanted to go to one of the biggest markets to grow the league. It would be different if she went to Indiana or one of the smaller markets, right. but she chose New York on purpose. And I think that was really powerful and impactful. So I think it's great because all of these games between the New York Liberty and the Aces need to be nationally televised, have so much momentum around them because this is going to bring new fans into the WNBA. These are notable names all on one screen. Yep. You have Asia Wilson, Candace Parker, John Quill Jones, who was an MVP a few years ago. So my hope is that this is an entry point for fandom for people who maybe have never watched a WNBA game before. But I don't want them to stop there. Yeah. I want them to keep going and watch all of the games because all of these players have so much to offer. Well, we see super teams in the NBA, we see it with mm -hmm. the Warriors, the Nuggets. Like, I mean, half the playoffs is, is super teams, but there's some cons that come with super teams. What would you say are the cons for super teams in the W specifically? Yeah, there are a few cons. I think one that comes to mind is that it could completely blow up in your face. Yeah. It could not work. You know, that first game the Liberty played against the Washington Mystics, they looked bad. They did not look great. With super teams, when you have so much talent and so many players who are used to being the number one option, you put them all on one court and it could not work out. Yeah. So that's one option. But another thing is, you know, just along the lines of what I was saying, those other teams, the other 10 teams in the WNBA, don't get talked about as much when they still have a ton of talent. Every team in the WNBA is a super team because there are limited spots in the league. Yeah. So there are MVPs, there's defensive stoppers, there's most improved players all across the league. So those teams don't get talked about as enough. And you have someone like the Connecticut Sun, they started the season undefeated. Right. So they're a really good team and nobody is talking about them. So I think that's another con. One more that I would want to add is you know, if you are not a part of the super part of the team and maybe you're a role player, you could get pushed out of the rotation. Mm -hmm. You could, you know, Benai Jelani on the New York Liberty just won most improved not too long ago. She's a bucket, but she looks lost out there. She doesn't really know what her role is yet because you have Brianna Stewart scoring 45 points. You have Courtney Vandersloot passing to Brianna Stewart all the time. So a lot of the others are going to have to find their roles on the super team and sometimes Sometimes that's that's not great. Right, you make a lot of good points there, and I, I think super teams can be really tricky. There comes this balance of power, balance of power between your star players. Mm -hmm. Your star players then all of a sudden are getting more power because then they're trying to build their own super teams, and you yeah. can go through, like you said, years and years of trying to rebuild, and it could not work, or it could work. I personally think the super teams that are, are starting or this new era that we're seeing in the W is going to be great. My mm -hmm. question to you is, how do we build on this? Oh, yeah. I think we keep building, and we, like I said, Said, bringing more fans, making sure the marketing, the advertising is focused on these super teams to bring more people in to watch. But I will say too, the whole idea of super teams, what a lot of WNBA fans have been talking about, isn't new. You think back to the Houston Comets, they won four championships in a row. That's a super team. Right. When you have Cheryl Swoops and Cynthia Cooper and all these greats on one team, you have the Minnesota Lynx, Maya Moore, Simone Augustus, Rebecca Brunson, they won three championships in a row. Like, these are super teams. It has been done before. Those are those are options that have worked out. Yep. And I know that the Aces and Liberty are looking to them and saying, please, we want all of those <laughs> championships. I hope it works out for us like that. Yeah. So momentum, making sure we're talking about it, even just this conversation right now, is so great for growing the league. Well, hopefully these super teams are bringing more eyes to the W like we're always hoping for.